A lot better, huh? She beat me. Uh oh, she beat you. <laughs> right, let's go. Okana State Park, White Trail. Back in July, yeah. No pressure. No pressure. All right, let's sit for a second. Little jerks. Yes, this is Allie on film. Bass fishing with Allie Doherty. Here she is, Hook on a State Park, showing you the proper use of a frog in the pads. And the thumb up, yes. She's leaping the frog through the pads, hoping for that top order bass to come through. Um, what do we have? So you're good. Good chance for bass. Here we are. Pocahontas State Park. Fishing, paddling, biking. We're doing it all today. Vacation July 2012. Uh, a little bit of both, mostly letting it rest. It's good to throw it by the edge of the pads and let it just sink. He's just asking if I ever fished here because he um, never has. And I told him, I said, there's a lot of pads. He said, oh, I got frogs and some other top water lures. That's the perfect thing for, uh, for fishing lily pads. I got these things, they're like frog lures. You just jump it across the pads. Really, right there? Yeah, of course. He might have been chasing my lure. And then as soon as I got it in the water, chase something else. This goes pretty far back, so we can keep paddling all the way up. We have the Cabotron, the slowest buzzbait ever. Made with Gamakatsu hooks. This is an eighth ounce. It's the Blacks. Cabotron series, I put in a little uh, wave worm uh, crawl in there. Give it a little extra. We're gonna fish it across to near these pads. Oh yeah, I like to sit on my rod. Ooh, I got a bite. Oh, take it. There he goes. Right where you thought you told you he would be. They like that grass and brush, all that stuff. We uh okay. Tell her to paddle over here real quick. And he swallowed that. Whoa! He swallowed. I gotta get the thing out of his throat. Whoa, he's giving me a bath. It actually feels good. The water feels great compared to a couple weeks ago. It was so hot. Of course, it was 102 degrees. Oh, see that? You gotta be quick. You gotta lead the pack. Keep moving. Don't stay in one spot too long. These trocar hooks are too sharp, man. They get way down in their throat. Yep, little baby bath. He was right in that, see where all those branches and stuff are? Yeah, see that, darn it, I beat you to it. Oh man. Oh, I went up through it because he swallowed it. Sometimes it's best to go up 
without hurting his gill, get up under the gill plate and try to release it. So these are these laser sharp hooks. I don't like them because they, they really do damage to the poor bass. Shit, he's gonna die. Yeah, I think so. That's why I don't like these hooks. They're too sharp and then they... No, they're called trocard or made by Eagle Claw. And they're touted as the sharpest hook out there. The one you have is a Gamakatsu. They're sharp as anything as well, but they... See, you know what it is? This is a 5 volt hook, I think, too, which is a bigger hook. So when he gets down inside their throat, man, it just does damage. Looks like he got away on escape, but we'll see. How oh, is he? Yeah, see, he's hurting. Now, if we were a place where you take him, I would, I would take him home and put him on, the, put him on the grill <laughs> or on the, on the skillet. <laughs> yeah, because it's a shame he's going to die now. And he may not make it, mainly because he was a. Uh, he was down there. Yeah, see like over there? I know what they want. Yeah, see like there, the, what I found here is anywhere I see grass and other stuff, like right in that section there, they hover in that grass. Under trees, yeah, where you were just then, that's a good spot. If you want something else, like I was trying to blast on a buzz bait and I wasn't filming, but that's okay, he's on here. Oh, it's a nice one too. Whoa, baby. He's all big and too. <laughs> Allie. <laughs> That's a nicer one. He hit that right off the shore. And I wasn't filming, as usual. I am filming now, of course, after I hit the fish. You'd like to see that explosion on there. But it did not happen. This one, see these ones, see where it hit him? Hit him on his jaw, that ain't gonna kill him. When it gets down in his gullet, that's when they get hurt. And you don't wanna see them get hurt. A lot of times if you wait too long to set the hook, it'll get caught down in there. Woohoo! That's a nice one, huh? Yep, ready? And off he goes, bass bath. <laughs> I was gonna give a man the bass bath. I threw a buzz bait. That was about, pound and a half, somewhere in there. And of course I just turned the